All right, good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Chioki Bradley. I'm the head football coach at Mansfield Senior High. Uh, today, I'm going to read a wonderful book to you today. It's called The Hog Mollies and the Amazing Aquatic Adventures. Before we get started on today's book, I want you to make sure you put your name at the top. And there's a few questions here that I want you to pledge to uh, today. The first thing that I want you to pledge to is I want you to make sure you read every night. The second thing I want you to do is pledge to do your homework when it is assigned. The third thing I want you to pledge to is to respect your teachers and all of your classmates. The fourth thing is you have to pledge to work hard at school. The fifth thing that you need to pledge to today is that you will do the right things all the time. All right, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to introduce you some special characters um, that will be in this uh, amazing Adventures Aquatic uh, book today. And they are called the Hog Mollies. So these guys will make up the group called the Hog Mollies. The first character is Duke. The second character is Sprout. The third character is Hoppy. The fourth character here is Harley. And these wonderful characters make up the Hog Mollies. So, the name of this book is called The Hog Mollies and the Amazing Aquatic Adventure. Here we go. Good morning, students, and welcome to this year's Amazing Aquatic Adventure, announced science teacher Mr. McGee. Best friends, the hog mollies stood with their classmates and eagerly surveyed uh, the waters below. The Amazing Aquatic Adventure was one of the coolest events of the year. Mr. McGee explained the task for the day. Each team needs to answer all four questions in order to solve the final riddle. This is not a race, but an exercise in using all the resources around you to find the answers. Remember, each team member is unique and has something to contribute to the task. So these are some of the questions that you're going to have to answer to find the final riddle, all right? And then you will need to use the corresponding symbols within the question to solve the final riddle, which is right here below. Move along. Before we begin, I will divide you into groups of five, said Mr. McGee. Duke, Sprout, Harley, and Hoppy looked at each other and groaned. But we're the hog mollies. We don't need someone different in our group. The hog mollies were less than welcoming as their new teammate, Scarlet, moved over to join the group. Ugh, why do we need her? Remember to be open-minded, Mr. McGee told them. You might have more in common with Scarlet than you think. When the hog mollies reached their first station, they struggled to find the right answer. Question number one. Which underwater mammals love to sing? Let's skip this one and come back. Maybe we'll have better luck with question two. As they walked away, Duke glanced over at Scarlet, who was humming to herself and writing on her paper. That's when he noticed the sheet music hanging out of her bag. Wow, she must study music, just like me, he thought to himself. At the second exhibit, the hog mollies never thought to ask Scarlet for help. When Sprout looked over at Scarlet, she was again writing on her paper. 
While he wondered what she could be writing, he was distracted by something else he saw. Dude, she has the supersonic sneakers, just like me, he noticed. Those are the limited editions. Harley interrupted Sprout's thoughts. Question number two. What travels four times faster in water than it does through air? I have no idea what can move through water that quickly. Let's just move on to question three. As the Hawk Mollies approached the third station, Duke consulted with his friends. Hey guys, maybe we should ask Scarlett for help with these answers. After all, she is on our team and we haven't even given her a chance to help yet. Yeah, but she's not a Hawk Molly. And we do everything together, Harley argued. We've never had anyone different in our group. Question number three. What kind of sea slug is named for the type of food it resembles? As the hog mollies continue to debate about asking Scarlet for help, Harley noticed the book she was carrying. I can't believe it. She's into sea slugs, just like me, he thought in amazement. Harley had never met anyone he could talk to about his favorite sea creature. Hoping to have better luck finding the answer to number four, the hog mollies continued on. But now, Sprout, Duke, and Harley all started to pay more attention to Scarlet and less attention to the questions on their worksheet. They couldn't stop thinking about their earlier observations. Question number four. Which crustacean in this exhibit favors the left claw over its right claw? As they studied the crustaceans, Hoppy looked over at Scarlet and exclaimed, Hey guys, do you know that Scarlet is left-handed, just like me? I don't know anyone else in our class who is left-handed. Maybe she's not so different after all. Wow. The hog mollies realized that Scarlet was a lot more like them than they thought. They knew they should have included her in all alone and decided they would ask her for help. Hoppy was the first to speak up. Scarlet, at first we didn't want you in our group because you're not a hog mommy. But then we really realized that there are things about all of us that are alike and things that are different. Yeah, Echo Sprout, and that's what makes each of us unique. We have lots of things in common, like music and shoes, and even though you're not a hog molly, you're just like us. Well, not exactly like you, see. I've got all the answers. Hog molly, hog mollies and scarlet all laugh. I just wanted to give you guys a chance to find the answers on your own, Scarlet said, but I'm happy to help you. Whoa, how did you do that? As Scarlet showed them all of the answers to the final riddle. Together, the Hog Mollies and Scarlet found the answers to the final riddle and turned in their paper to Mr. McGee. Well, I'm glad you all learned that being unique is a good thing, Mr. McGee said. Not only that, Harley announced proudly, but we found a new friend who can help us with a different puzzle that we've been working on. Yippee, way to go, Scarlet. 
they introduced the clubhouse crossword here. Yay, it's finally complete. So today, we learned a lot about the hog mollies and the amazing aquatic adventure. Now it's up to you to find the answers to all of the questions to solve the final riddle. The last thing before we end today is we want you to write a few words to explain something unique about you. The end. Go Tigers.